Hello Aries, this is your full moon reading. The full moon is coming up at the beginning of June. The Depending on where you are, I think it's the 2nd or 3rd of June. So I hope you're doing well. Let's see what the full moon is going to reveal to you. Okay, so let's pick a card. Follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. Wow. Okay, let me just push this crystal up. Follow your dreams. Let's see what else, what other energies will set the tone for your full moon reading. And this is for Aries. Aries, keep in mind that this is a general reading. So take what resonates and drop the rest. Okay, we have refinement. And next. Let's see. We have here segment. Courage, truth, shadow work. Ooh, Aries, time to do some shadow work. And I feel like the, the full moon will probably shine light into some aspects of some destruction there a little bit. Let me just um, say that again in case we missed it. Um, this card is about shadow work, courage, truth, and shadow work. So the full moon is possibly revealing to you um, shadow aspects of yourself, things that you have been avoiding for a while, most likely the emotional parts of self, okay? When you address those things, then your ability to follow your dreams become much more, much easier. You know, when we have shadow energies blocking us, it, um, it prevents us from feeling, prevents us from even seeing the truth of situations. Okay, and we have Ying. Ying is feminine energies. Ying is, of course, also a feeling, feeling nature of yourself, within yourself. So we're going to use this deck of tarot cards and let's see what comes up for you. So Aries, you might be interested to check out my other channel. My other channel is uh, Musings from the Past, Present and Future. I do shadow work, consciousness work. I teach on that channel, okay? So there are live stream classes. So do check it out and I think it will help you tremendously, especially if the shadow work has come up here um, in this reading. Let's see what else for Aries. Oh, very nice. End of one cycle. Aries. The energies are very different from your previous readings. I feel like it is a good moving on kind of energy. And um, wow, excellent. Okay, nice energies here for you. Definitely entering a new beginning. And also, um, Aries, my sense is that it's time for you to start a spiritual practice. If you do not have a spiritual practice, if you do not have someone mentoring you, it's time to start. This is the energy for it. And it can really help you to bring in greater abundance. You have reached the end of one cycle of life. Uh, it's a huge cycle that you are ending. All right. And this full moon is going to reveal to you um, the imbalances that you may have in your life. And if you have not embarked on a spiritual journey, right, or having a consistent spiritual practice, this will be highlighted to you. You know, you will feel like your life is not balanced. It's truly not balanced, right? And so you are entering a new cycle. So interesting, we have a five of pentacles. Five of pentacles here, it's about um, despair. This is exactly what I talked about, right? When you, the full moon is going to reveal to you exactly where you are not balanced. And I feel like the spiritual aspect of yourself needs to come in, right? Hierophant is a spiritual teacher. Okay, so either um, look for a new spiritual teacher or uh, work with, you know, um, books on personal development, something that you are aligned with that can help you, okay? And when you do that, you will find that the Wheel of Fortune will work in your favor. So Queen of Swords is also about um, honesty, and, you know, you have two queen energies here, queen of swords, and we have the empress. Empress is about manifesting, manifesting a better life for yourself, a more balanced life. And this, and that's why I say the spiritual aspect needs to come in because there is judgment as well. 
So in general, the judgment energy is about listening to your inner calling, right? So this ties in. Hierophant is spiritual teacher or mentor. This is your higher calling. You do need to look for a higher calling in your life and not just exist uh, because you are ending one huge cycle in your life's journey and you do need to enter a new cycle with much more feminine energies, which is the yin energies, which is also following your dreams. I would say it's like following your life purpose. Um, do shadow work is important because you do, do need to refine where you are in order to, or else life becomes meaningless. You know, I feel like, you also feel that, you know, life is becoming meaningless. You find that whatever you're doing right now has no meaning unless you find a higher meaning. And this is something that you should be searching for um, or else everything just means nothing. And it can feel, it can feel depressive, you know, when life has no meaning. And um, yeah, let's see what else comes up for you. Let's, let's use another tarot deck and see what else for Aries here. Interesting. I would say that the full moon is revealing some interesting things to you. Uh, we have here the page of pentacles and also the four of wands. Page of pentacles is about manifesting. I would say um, this comes up. I would say it has a lot to do with manifesting life purpose, manifesting um, life vision, and that can tie in together with, um, you know, financial goals, okay? And Four of Wands is about celebrating. It's about being in harmony with yourself. Let's see, this one. Yes, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, really. Uh, for your reading, especially with all these cards coming up, I would say this is about connection with your spirituality, your spiritual self, right? It's about spiritual intimacy, Ace of Cups is also about new opportunities coming in, new emotions, and Page of Wands. Page of Wands is about excitement in a new life's journey. Wow. Aries, it's time, right? It's really time. You know, everyone will come to this point in their life where they really need to live a life of greater purpose. So I'm going to uh, use the Abundance deck and see what comes up for you. Uh, no, let's, let's, let's shuffle again. Shuffle properly. Let's see. If those comes up again, then obviously it's meant for you. And we have here grief. Okay, this has to do with the shadow work, right? Grief. Uh, go through what you need to go through. Heal. And then we have divine flow. Please, for this full moon. And we have letting go. Everything is indeed out of control and God will hold it all. I can safely let go. Yeah, nothing's within your control. You can't control your destiny. That's not up to you. Okay. And one inspiring card from this unicorn deck, please, for Aries. And we have here happy thoughts. To feel happier right now, think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. Well done, Aries. You're entering a very, very exciting phase of your life's journey. This full moon is really going to highlight all of this for you. I wish you the best. And if you, you know, just bear in mind that I'm open for personal readings. I take private sessions now. So details are below this video. I will see you again soon. Bye for now.